Hi, this is Dr. Don. I have a problem out of chapter 7, section 3, in which we're given some raw data. And that seems to throw a lot of students. So far, most of the problems that you've seen in introductory stats, we've given you the sample summary statistics. In this case, it's a mean. So we would give you the X bar, the sample mean, and we would give you the sample standard deviation S. Here we don't do that. And we don't tell you that you should use either the Z or the T. The rule, again, for our class is if you do not know the population standard deviation sigma and you have a sample size less than 30, you use the T. Both of those are true for this problem, so that's why we use the T. To get the standardized test statistic, all we need to do if we're using StatCrunch is to go over here to the little blue rectangle, click on that, and then we're going to open in StatCrunch. So we're open in StatCrunch. We go as we normally do for hypothesis tests, stat. Here we've got a T statistic, remember, so we click on that. And we've got one sample, and this time we have data. So we open up the dialog box. We need to select the column that has our data, which is var variable one. And we're going to perform hypothesis test. I think our null value is 22275. That's what we assume. It's a two-tailed test with not equal in the alternative. So we're just going to click compute. And we bring up our answer box here. There is our T test statistic minus 0.54, which is what we have there. Now again, this problem wanted you to use the critical values, but StatCrunch gives you the p-value, which is 0.6, which is a very large p-value, and with our alpha of 0.05, we would fail to reject the null because the test statistic, if we look, is not in the rejection region, but also because p-value is greater than alpha. And our conclusion would be there is not sufficient evidence to reject the null. Hope this helps.